you guys doing? I'm Russ Kish from Gun Limited. I'm here with the Vanguard Creed. You just actually uh, saw it fire in here at this uh, shooting range. We're going to be going over everything of the final marker. With the uh, Vanguard Creed, you get a nice little briefcase. Hold your gun, get carried around the field. Women think you're hot. You know, you're on at like an FBI mission or something. You got the, the briefs next to you and you got to walk around with it. Open up your package. So we're going to show you the barrels right over here. This is what comes with your gun in a nice leather case. You get a 16 inch 9.3 barrel. You get a 14 inch 8.9 and a 14 inch 9.3. Now depending on where you play in the field, I play snake, but I still use a 16 inch barrel. It's all a preference. You're going to take it, screw it into your back, now you're ready to go. The great thing about these barrels is it's all one piece straight through. It's not a two piece barrel, you know, it has two pieces, but this is an outer shell. This is actually going over the sleeve of the barrel. So you don't have any breaks in the barrel. You don't have to worry about you know, a divot in the barrel. It's a nice straight flowing barrel. Uh, also on this side you get a barrel sock with Vanguard on it. All right. On this side of the leather carrying case, you're going to have your marker. Your marker is going to come with a tag. On that tag it's going to show you when it was made, when it was put together, and by who. Now this is just to let us know who put your gun together and how well they did it. Up here, in this little case, you get to open it up. It's like Christmas, birthday, happy presents, you have fun. You get your gun oil. You get a lanyard. You need this to have your ID on you. You always need to have your IDs on you when you're on the field. So this is a great thing to have. And you get a bottle opener. Now the reason you have a bottle opener, well, hey, you never know. You might be thirsty on the field sometime, and, well, it's a great way to bribe a ref, too. Give him a beer. <laughs> Over in this box, in the upper right-hand corner of your carrying case, you're going to open up. you got your power cord. you got a portable charger worth of two AA batteries. If you put two rechargeable batteries in here, you can take this and charge it off of your computer. On this, you have a light, so you can use it. Say you're, you know, you're in your hotel room, the rest of your teammates are sleeping, and you really can't, you know, turn on the light because you don't want to wake anybody up because you have an important game the next day. This light allows you to one, find your gun, and uh, two, actually do some work. In here, you have the adapter. So whenever you're on the field, this is what you'll use. You'll use the cord in here. Take it out. Put this little adapter on here. And you take this in. And plug it into here. Now you're ready to go. This will go right into the USB port that's on the back of your marker. This is for your iPod. Now this is a extra bonus so you know a lot of people are always out there they're always listening to their iPods we'll see if it goes dead on you now I'm out there I'm on the field walking and my iPod goes dead on me well I can take this charger put on this adapter and now I can charge up my iPod and in the final box nice big box here this is like the last gift that you're getting on Christmas is the big one. You always save the biggest for last. In here is what every paintballer needs. Not a job. Allen keys. <laughs> Allen keys, you get full set. And now this will come with your gun. Leave it with your gun. It's the best way to keep it, find it, and know where it is. Otherwise, your teammates will find it, and then you'll lose it. All right, now we're going to show you some of the features of the Vanguard Creed. One, the middle button right here is your power on button. Press that button, gun turns on. 
Now you're going to have the nice bright OLED screen. This top button is your eyes. You press that button in, eyes off. It will be indicated by this. A little blue symbol with a half moon crescent around it. Press that button again, eyes are back on. Now to go into your modes, you're going to press the middle button again. Now this will take you through your firing modes, your settings, information on the gun, and then you can exit from the menu. So when you're in here, let's go to fire mode. You're going to have the preset. It's right on it's on ramp now. You have PSP, ramp, dry fire, semi-auto, millennium. In order to set it, press the middle button. Now it's set. Max rate of fire. It's on 15 BPS. If you want to change that, hit the middle button, go in there, scroll up or scroll down using the two buttons on either end of the middle button. We'll set it at 15 BPS. Hit the middle button again. Now you're set. The rate of fire cap. It's on. If I want to turn it off, hit the bottom button. Off. On. Middle button again. Set it. Go back. Ramp configuration. Now this is if you're in uh, Millennium or PSP. In PSP, it starts up to 3. So you go in here, ramp start. Set it at 3. Set. Ramp stop. Semi shots. Now this is for when every trigger pull you have has got to be to the set area. PSP or Millennium. So it's going to be three shots on your burst. And then you come out of this by hitting the middle button again. Then you can go to your settings. In your settings, you have your dwell, debounce, your eye delay, eye sensitivity, bolt delay, your clearing shot, your FSEO, dwell, and then you come out of that go to information. In the information you're going to have battery life. I have 56% left on a rechargeable battery. It's 11.6 rechargeable battery, lithium. Down here is the serial number. The version and then out of this. Exit the menu. Now you're ready to play. Whenever there's a ball in the chamber, it'll be indicated by a green light. All right, once again, this is your power on button. It's your middle button. You hit it, gun turns on, up and down to scroll through your menu. This is your USB port adapter. This is where you're going to plug in to charge the battery. And this is for any update. You can just plug it into your computer. If we have an update, we'll put it online. And you can just plug it right into your computer and you'll get all the latest updates. The way this gun is set up, you don't have to open up the trigger. You don't have to go in the frame at all. Everything is done externally. Turn it on, turn it off, recharging, everything. This right down here is a tournament lock. Once you have your settings put into your gun, you just press right in here.